ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and today we'll discuss something very interesting very important very fundamental for anybody who is understanding or learning or getting introduced to vedic astrology today we will discuss how to help saturn to help you yes 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 saturn is also trying to help us but problem is we do not let him help us oh my god but saturn was a malefic right it is the worst of the malefics then how is he helping us okay so today we will see that and we will also see how we can help saturn help us <laughs> it's confusing right we will try to simplify it okay so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and please watch this playlist okay there are around 98 99 videos in this playlist you can start from the basics there are two playlists astrology basics and this is the omg astrology secrets these two playlists are uh, very fundamental for anybody who is wanting to learn astrology okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will you will find him and please help god help you because they say that god helps those who helps themselves there's a saying like this i've heard once and yes if you want to book a reading with me regarding your saturn or if you want to know how to help saturn to help you then you can always go to my website you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video below all right so what is saturn everybody knows what saturn is but let's brush up the basics saturn is basically the weakness in the chart should i repeat saturn is nothing but the weakness wherever saturn is sitting there is there is weakness there weakness means something which we try to cover up as in hindi they say na jugar lagane ka koshish so that that is the place where we beat around the bush we have been beating around the bush in that area from many 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 lifetimes and that is why saturn is sitting there we are not in problem because saturn is sitting there we are in problem that is why saturn is sitting so now when saturn's time period comes which is mahadasha or antardasha or pratyantardasha i have not explained dashas i will be making videos on dashas very soon or when there is a difficult transit of saturn which is known as sade sati there's a lot of fear mongering and glorification of about the holiness of sade sati or the terrible times which people have when there is sade sati sade sati is basically when moon is transiting 12th or on your moon or on the second so two and a half two and a half two and a half so seven and a half years of saturn's cycle okay so suppose your moon is in capricorn in your original birth chart in d1 chart okay so now saturn is in sagittarius 26 Jul uh, january 2017 it entered sagittarius so for capricorn uh, moon sign the sade sati has started and sagittarius is undergoing their second phase because saturn is directly over their moon and scorpio is undergoing their third phase because saturn is in second from scorpio which is sagittarius now there's a lot of fear mongering about these transits and dashas of saturn and people try to do various things to get rid of their problems during the period of saturn there are some funny things people will do why i am saying funny they may be authorized also but at least to me it seems very funny because they do not know what actually saturn wants you to do and you don't do that apart from that you will do everything so there are some remedies like for example feeding crows then there are remedies that you should uh, eat this till uh, till is one thing if you do not know what till is then you can google then they say that you should take uh, there are some kinds of oils which you should put in your body you can crush till and water in the grinder and you can put it in your uh, body that is one remedy they say for saturn okay so feeding crows that is one remedy then there's so many remedies you have to throw something in the ganga at this hora at this in this direction okay then there is hora of saturn every day the hora hora is the hour the time which is ruled by a particular planet 
so during the whole hour of saturn they say in on any day you can do some donations then they say that fast on saturdays then they say that chant the mantras for shani dev then they will say that give donations to beggars especially beggars okay for k2 they say that give donations to uh, the handicap or they say give donation to anybody who is elder to you okay so these are remedies which people do now they may work these remedies may work i am not saying that they don't work but the most important thing that we need to do is we need to develop cultivate discipline in life without doing that no other remedy of saturn will work suppose you are just sitting watching tv doing nothing after you come from office okay and then uh, you are watching things in your television so many things my god these days no need to take names and then your saturn dasha has started and after watching tv you go and uh, take alcohol you are eating meat or whatever you are just भागवतम दे श्लोक है ना मनोरथे ना सती धावतो बही मनोरथ द चैरियट ऑफ द माइंड इज गोइंग हियर देयर टुडे टू दिस गर्लफ्रेंड टू दैट बॉयफ्रेंड यस टुडे आई एम विद दिस आफ्टर टू इयर्स आई एम विद समबडी एल्स यू नो व्हाट टू डू इट डजंट वर्क यू सी सो वी चेंज देन वी आर गोइंग टू द आइसक्रीम शो इन द नाइट इन द आइसक्रीम दैट स्टॉल ना Where there are different varieties of ice cream. Oh, darling, let's go and have an ice cream. <laughs> so you are uh, trying to cover up the vacuum which you feel inside, the hollowness which you are feeling. You are trying to cover it and beat around the bush by uh, by trying to substitute it using some addictions or some things which you should not be doing. Or you are watching pornography. <laughs> or you are watching. uh adult material in the internet A- any any kind of adult material okay or you are going on dating recklessly the members of the opposite sex or nowadays the members of the same sex whatever it is if this is your lifestyle then when saturn's time period comes you will suffer okay basically if you are doing things which you do not which is not in line with your ultimate purpose okay like going and s- gossiping about others if you are doing that then what happens during the time of saturn you will see people are gossiping about you there will be rumors about you why in the universe suddenly they are gossiping about you because you gossip about others because a person who gossips with you about somebody else will gossip about you to somebody else So suppose my friend is there. He comes and says, "Oh, you know this person is having an affair with this girl." Then suppose tomorrow I have an affair, and I tell him, what he will do? He will go and tell ten people. Oh, you see, you know he's having affair. He's having this. He's having that. <laughs> so do not partake in poisonous things, which degrade your soul, which degrade your consciousness. Do not take part in those activities. Because when we are doing all these things, then what happens is. Saturn is trying to teach us something. He is trying to teach us that basically what Saturn wants you to teach. There is a shloka in Gita which says that Dukhalaya Mashashvatam Napnu Anti Mahatmana. <laughs> Dukhalaya Mashashvatam means this world, material world, is a place of misery. And then Krishna says Samsidhim Palamam Gata, which means that but if you take shelter of me. then you will cross over all the material miseries the thrust of that shloka is not to tell you that your situation is bad all right it is to tell you that your situation is bad in this world but when you take to spirituality seriously then your situation will improve situation will improve doesn't mean that if you are having a divorce your wife will come back or you lost your job you get your job back it changes your internal processing all right because whoever you are whatever you have how much ever you have you will always have problems in this world the only thing which is constant in this world is problems apart from problems there is nothing which is constant in this world everything is going on fine oh your wife will have a fracture your husband will have a headache some problem or the other will always be there 
सो द गीता हैज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वे ऑफ ट्रीटिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम द गीता सेज डोंट ट्राई टू चेंज द एक्सटर्नल्स चेंज योर सेल्फ इंटरनली एंड वेन यू डू दैट एक्सटर्नल्स विल ऑटोमेटिकली नॉट मैटर दैट डजेंट मीन दैट यू डोंट गेट एफेक्टेड बाई इट यू गेट एफेक्टेड बट इट विल नॉट मैटर यू यू सी इट विल जस्ट टच यू एंड इट विल लीव इट विल नॉट गो इन साइड यू इट्स लाइक यू आर गोइंग आउट साइड एंड देर इज रेनिंग बट यू हैविंग अम्ब्रेला यू सी सो यू कैन नॉट स्टॉप द रेन मटीरियल मेजर इज आर लाइक द रेन रेन्स के नॉट बी स्टॉप्ड यू के नॉट स्टॉप द रेन हाउ मच एवर यू डू वॉट एवर यू डू अर्जुना सेज दैट आई कैन कंट्रोल द विन्स बट आई के नॉट कंट्रोल द माइंड बट वी आर नॉट अर्जुना We cannot control the winds, all right? Why or ever sudushkaram that shloka is there, but we cannot control the winds. But we cannot stop the rain. So, when the miseries of material existence comes, we cannot stop them. It is not possible. But we can have an umbrella, which protects us from get, which prevents us from getting affected by it. Which means suppose. today you have a great marriage have you seen couples laughing kissing giggling bubbling with enthusiasm joy <laughs> and then one day something happens and everything's over have you seen does it sound like somebody or does it sound like you <laughs> yes that happens we keep seeing every day just see your friends miserable and that to venus is retrograde now all these all this nonsense useless garbage rubbish of this world these things are coming out you see oh my x is messaging my y is messaging my z is also messaging what to do you know so the point is when we do spiritual practices seriously then we become internally strong and then we can actually help saturn to help us because saturn is ultimately trying to tell you that look this is the area which you were ignoring from past lifetimes so now is the time that you got to sit and work in this area because if you do not work now you will you will never work so the period of saturn is very important i'm not saying it's good or bad i'm saying it is a very important period whenever the antar dasha of saturn comes you should take notice of the things which are happening that is the time when your discipline will be tested which means see basically discipline is what basically discipline means that we do what we are supposed to do and when we are supposed to do but when we do not have discipline why we do not have discipline because we are in rajoguna and tamoguna rajogun mode of passion and tamogun is mode of ignorance when we are in these two modes primarily then we cannot have discipline in life or we will only have discipline for those things which help us to get more of rajogun or tamogun so suppose you go to a materialistic person materialistic in the sense that not that nobody is materialistic but a materialistic person in that sense i am saying that he has no conception of god or even if he knows god he is not interested in knowing about the higher truths of the scriptures so you go and tell him that you know actually you don't have discipline then he will say hey, every day 5 o'clock i get up and i go to uh, my office who is saying you don't i don't have discipline you don't know anything you are a, you are a idiot you are a liar no he has discipline but he is disciplined because he will get money and from that money he will get more of rajogun and tamogun <laughs> there are many ladies and fitness models i know like sometimes they ma- mail me they message me there was one girl who told me once that she has a wedding not her wedding okay she has a wedding of somebody else in the family not very close relative but some relative is there so before 6 months of the wedding she stopped eating she only eats once in a day and she is eating cucumber cucumber broccoli this much she will eat and then somehow she is surviving so when you see these people my god they are doing so much austerities you see a materialistic man he is going get a getting up every day in the morning he is going to the office my god so much discipline that girl my god so much discipline she had 
but the question is why is she doing that because she will get more of rajogun more of tamogun because if she continues to eat according to her according to that girl she will gain weight okay and then what will happen people will come and say oh you are looking fat you know you are looking obese moti lag rahi ho or other men will not appreciate her nobody will come and say oh <laughs> wow you look wow <laughs> they'll not say like this so that means you are a slave to the opinion of other people you see you are staying in a prison actually it's like till the time other people come and slap you tuck you are looking beautiful tuck you are looking good you are looking hot you are looking sexy you are looking stunning till the time they will not compliment you men or women you will stay in this prison you see i i am not good why because i don't look good because other people are not telling me people are not liking my photos in facebook yes so what you have done is you have given the key to your happiness of your happiness to other people so it's like imagine you are staying in a market you have gone to a market and you have put a banner like this how many of you like me come and like me if you like me come and give a slap suppose nobody comes and likes you then what you'll be miserable you'll go and commit suicide <laughs> so when we are doing austerities we are having discipline just for rajogun and tamogun then that will degrade us that will destroy us and that girl is one of the most miserable girls mentally that i have seen till now in 28 years sorry 25 26 which whatever my age is most miserable always sitting for others to come and tell oh you're looking good you know what will happen if she eats what will happen at a max you will get 2 3 kilos more that's all what will happen 10 people will not appreciate you let them not appreciate you be who you are but no i am a slave to the opinion of other people so i cannot eat you are not able to <laughs> eat can you imagine your eating is prohibited what what to speak of other things you that basic fundamental right you are depriving your body of that what else can you do in life nothing you are simply staying in a prison okay so whenever we have discipline we have to ask that for what are we having discipline because it is very easy to be disciplined when we want to impress the other members of the opposite sex or we want money to enjoy it's very easy to be disciplined but when we need discipline for activities which are in sattva guna then the real challenge comes suppose you are doing mantras can you do it regularly you are reading scriptures can you do it if you are going and associating with spiritual personalities can you do it every day that is where the challenge comes you know that is where sattva gun applies so that is also the area where you have to cultivate discipline i am not saying do not be disciplined at your work be disciplined but you also have to cultivate discipline in the mode of goodness austerity is in three modes all right and then what happens is our life becomes primarily governed by sattva gun which is mode of goodness then we are naturally more peaceful more calm inside we know what to do in life we have a direction we have a goal have you seen people who are in mode of goodness you will see that their analysis of anything is crystal clear it's perfect and you talk to a person who is in mode of rajogun and tamogun oh i don't know what will happen uh, this that hey that's the problem you see so we have mode of goodness inside us we have to increase the mode of goodness by doing activities which are in the mode of goodness then we will have good direction in life good thought process we will meet good people because your vibe attracts your tribe remember your vibe attracts your tribe if you are miserable inside you will also attract miserable people that is why one who smokes will only have other friends who also smoke they may have other friends who don't smoke but they cannot be close friends you see because there's a limit after one limit either you smoke and stay or you get out of that you can't cross that you know if you cross then they will say are yaar ek maar le yaar give it once why because they are miserable they are depressed they are addicted 
so there's another person who is in depression who feels oh that's cool man you smoke i smoke come we smoke <laughs> so that's how it happens so your vibe attracts your type so when you are positive in life your friends will be positive you will attract those kind of people and then you will know what to do in life and then you will have the right discipline and by that you will see that saturn's time although it is difficult but you are growing inside people go through life they don't grow should i repeat people just go through life they do not grow so don't go through life grow through life are you growing inside now suppose you do not do spiritual practices and you do not increase sattva guna inside your body then what will happen is you will simply pass on your saturn period entire mahadasha of 19 years will go saturn mahadasha is 19 years am i right yes almost <laughs> or the antar dashas or sade sati it will simply pass and saturn will hit you right left he will slap you he will hammer you right left have you seen saturn hammering people my god breakups my god divorce health problems friends left total hellish condition saturn can make your life hell sometimes if you do not cooperate why he is making your life hell because you are weak at those areas he is simply exposing you see anybody who is not very good in relationships they will have breakups during sare sate because saturn is telling look now is an opportunity it's like you have failed an exam now saturn is like that uh he's like that examiner who comes and says i will give you a second chance are you ready to work and then then also the student says no no i am not interested go you fail me no problem and at the and then at the end of your college you go and say oh but uh, the lady says you know you can't get degree why because remember in your third semester you failed in that subject you have to clear the backlog unless you clear the backlog you will not get degree certificate so if we want to attain perfection in material or spiritual lives we have to work on our weaknesses and that will only happen when your mind is sufficiently calm in a way that it lets you work on your weaknesses have you seen a man who is in rajoguna always oh today party today i will have sex with this girl or with this man yes party 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 i will eat meat they will go in flight from guwahati to delhi and suppose they do not serve meat in that flight suppose or non veg food is over they will fight with the air hostess they will say call the pilot i have seen people doing like this that means their mind is so disturbed so agitated that they cannot tolerate vegetarian food for 5 minutes because they are so much addicted to eating that meat which is actu- actually poison for their body so it's like it's like uh, liking to kill yourself you see <laughs> that's in tamo guna actually so in that case we we and who is in tamo guna they are always into addictions helplessness you see rajoguna is like i want 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 or chai or chai or chai or chai i have one girl i need two i need three i need four i need multiple girls you know to enjoy i'm here i'll go to this restaurant i will try this dish there also i will try this we will go to buffet barbecue nation my god india there's this famous chain 1000 rupees they will charge you or 7 800 like that and there are 40 Fifty items, you know, forty, fifty items, and your stomach is this much. And how much you can eat? And then you are eating all these things, and in the night you come and sleep. You just come and sleep, and then what happens? Your intestines damage, your whole body damages. It will not damage in one day. Eventually, you will realize. So that is Rajoguna. I want to see movie. I will see Ashwarya. I will see Game of Thrones. I will see Big Boss. I will see IPL. I will see this. I will see that. and then you have tamagun oh i will just drink you know i have no interest in anything in life just watch pornography just just stay have you seen people just lying in bed no nothing they're not doing anything in life just they are lying just just 
will go to office they will come and then it's gone watch some tv and just do whatever you want that is tamogun you see but satvogun is required so we need to get up early in the morning that's very important for that we have to stop watching tv serials in the night all right otherwise we will not get sleep because the mind is hyper the mind is like <laughs> then we can't sleep you see then we can't get up in the morning then we cannot chant mantras we cannot read shlokas from the gita we cannot read shlokas from the bhagavatam we cannot read shlokas from the ramayan from the mahabharat or from the bible or from the torah or from the dharmapada from the quran we can't read and then we cannot eat sattvic vegetarian food because our mind will not allow us mind will say i only want meat that is all i want if there is no meat then there is no food you see there are people i know who if there is no meat they will prefer to fast the situation is so precarious there are people i know 3 days 3 times in a day they will eat meat 3 times in a day not thrice in a week 3 times in one day they are eating meat so what's the situation you see so when sattva gun is cultivated our mind is peaceful and then we can see our weaknesses when you have you seen a ocean sometimes when the ocean is very calm you will see the impurities will come to the shore but when the ocean is very agitated like this like this then you will see the impurities are also floating with the ocean so our mind is like that when the mind is calm we can see our weaknesses and then we can take the necessary steps to work on our weaknesses and that is the time when our saturn's influence will not be that painful internally saturn is like a surgeon he is telling you that you got to work on these weaknesses but the problem is in the materialistic society if you do not have spiritual practices included in your day you cannot work on saturn how much will you be disciplined externally it, it is not possible that is why people fail with discipline all the time have you seen people making new year resolutions declarations i will do this i will do that then why they can't follow eventually why do they fail because they are just making a declaration they are not having the discipline inside to work through and go through it and to grow through it because they are not having the inner strength because they are not in connection with the higher power and in the scriptures we see time and again examples of great personalities the 12 mahajans especially swayam bhu nada darshambhu kumaro kapilo manu prahlad janako bhishmo balirvaya sakhi vayam bhishma pitamaz example you take from the mahabharat he is the best example dharmraj yudhishthir my god <laughs> he always used to whenever he will have any problem he will directly go to lord krishna or vyasdev and he will ask so we also need to associate with spiritual personalities like maharishi vyas through the scriptures and through meeting spiritual people in our city in our town in our community whichever way possible then only our mind will stay grounded it's like a anchor point you see when we do that then we will see that we are able to have discipline in life and then the time of saturn is not that painful internally externally it will be or may be or may not be that's not important here all right there you go so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and watch the other videos of this playlist and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know how to help saturn to help you all right so always remember this saturn is not your enemy he's your friend he wants to help you but you have to let him help you all right that is what i would say and if you want a consultation regarding your marriage your career or your affair or your health or your son daughter husband wife anybody then you can go to my reading and you can book a, you can go to my website to book a reading of course and god is there with you all the time just look to him and hopefully you find him okay if you find him tell me also okay bye bye see you